Good morning friends. In today's video, we are going to see how to size the firefighting tank filling line. For example, here in our project, you can see there are two firefighting compartments. For example, here firefighting tank 1 and firefighting tank 2. So normally in the firefighting, you must have two compartments. So if maintenance is happening in one, one compartment, we can another compartment can function. So here you can see this yellow color line, this line. And this line is coming from the outside water supply connection. So somewhere we have the uh, municipality line. So this line is coming like this. And from here one line will go to water supply tank and another line can go to firefighting tank. And another line can go to irrigation tank. So different tanks connection will be happening. So this firefighting yellow line uh, you can see from outside it is coming like this. And we have the water meter connection here. So after coming to this point one connection is going to firefighting tank 1. And after that you can see one reducer. So the size is reduced here. So the another size is going to another fire compartment. So we are going to see how to size this fire water tank filling line. In our project, we have two fire water compartment tanks. So each one with the capacity 57 plus 57. So total firefighting tank capacity what we have is 114 meter cube. And uh, here you can see uh, I have converted the meter cube to liter. So what I did 114 multiply with 1000 to convert to the liter. So total capacity in liter is equal to 114000. The tank filling line time as per NFA 22 is at uh, 8 hours. As per NFA 22, the means to fill the tank shall be sized to fill the tank in a maximum time of 8 hours. That means if the tank is empty, from the empty to make it fill, it has to be done within 8 hours. So in our case, I want to convert to a second. For example, we have 8 hours. So 8 hours into 60 minutes into 60 seconds. So the total answer for uh, in our case, it will be 28,800 uh, seconds. So now we got the answer above in liter and below we have the answer time in second. So like if you divide both 114000 liter which is coming from above capacity in liter divided by 28800 that is in second. So total the answer is 3.96 liter per second. I need the answer in GPM to get the pipe size. So I multiply with 15.8. So the constant value are like 15.8 uh, is a constant value to convert liter per second to GPM. So we are getting the answer of 62.76 GPM. In order to find out the pipe size of the water filling line, we can go to IPC, International Plumbing Code. So in this table, you can see the flow in gallon per minute they have given. So that's the reason we found out the answer in gallon per minute. And in the X direction, you can see the friction loss is given. And in this slight line, you can see this line. So these are the velocity which is given in feet per second. So starting from here, 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you can is keep on going like this and in this direction you can see they have given the pipe sizes. So pipe sizes in inches they have given starting from 3 by 8 inch, half inch, 3 by 4 inch, 1 inch, 1 1.25 inch. So like this it will go till a uh, 12 inch we have given. So this table we are going to refer to for the pipe sizing. If you see here, in our case, the required flow is 62.76 GPM. So using, using this required flow, we are going to find out the pipe sizing. So for example, uh, in this one, you can see here the flow, the flow in GPM. So here you can see uh, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and 70 is here. So 62.76 mean it will be somewhere near to this point. So moving further like this, 62.76. And we have to follow the velocity here. So we have, we have to know some reference like what is the maximum and minimum velocity we have to follow for the pipe sizing. In order to find out the maximum velocity, we are going to refer American Society, Society for Plumbing Engineers that is ASPE code. So here what they have give, uh, given, a velocity above 6 or 7 feet per second normally creates noises. Also depending upon the piping material use and the temperature, hardness and content air bubbles and also pH of the water. Velocity above 4 feet per second can cause erosion for some for some piping material. So that means for different piping material, uh, different velocity is normally recommended by ASPE. So here below they have given velocity based on different type of material. The velocity is not constant for all the material. For example, uh, in uh, you can see here polyethylene. That means the HTPE 
uh, LTP, MDP, all type of polyethylene material will come under this category. So 6 to 8 feet per second we have to follow. If you are, if you are using CPVC pipe, then 5 feet per second. If you are using PVC, then 4 to 6 feet per second. And if you are using steel pipe, it is 4 to 8 feet per second. And also you have the copper pipe. So copper pipe with different temperature uh, they have given. Like less than 140 degree Fahrenheit, you have to use 4 to 5 feet per second. More than 140 degree Fahrenheit, you have to use 2 to 3, uh, 3 feet per second. Also for the cold water application, you can use 5 to 8. So we are going to uh, in our application uh, for this project we are using the UPC pipeline. So for the PVC pipeline I am going to refer that is 4 to 6 feet per second. So in our project it is, it is the above ground pipeline. So I have used the UPVC. So 4 to 6 feet per second mean I can I can go with the mid to one that means 5 feet per second I am going to use for the sizing of the pipeline. So here you already know the velocity, uh, you already know the flow that is 62.76. So moving further like this, I'm going to follow 5 feet per second. So this is the 5 velocity, 5 feet per second. Uh, the, the unit is very important. It is not meter per, uh, meter per second, it is feet per second. So moving further like this, I will touch this point. I will touch at this point. So here it is 2 inch pipeline. Here it is 3 inch pipeline. And here the pipeline which is not given, that is a 2.5 inch pipeline because the line uh, for me it is like this it will pass like this so above this one it is 2.5 inch pipeline here so i have to follow the 2.5 inch uh, pipeline for my cases so here now i got the pipe size the overall pipe size that means here but after this one you can see there are one reducer is there because once the pipeline water is supplied to one single compartment i have to reduce the pipeline now i am going to find i am going to find out the pipeline for the individual compartments so first to overall compartment it is 2.5 inch now i am going to find out for individual compartments so for the individual compartment first to the overall tank capacity is 114 meter cube so 114 divided by 2 it is 57 meter cube 57 I, I want to convert to liter so I multiply with 1000 it is 57,000 liter as per NFE 22 8 hours is the filling time so again the same step 8 hours multiply with the 60 minutes into 60 seconds so total it is 28,800 seconds and 57,000 total water capacity which is coming from above divided by 28,800 liter so the answer will be 1.98 liter per second i want the answer in gpm because i in the in the ipc table it is in gpm so 31.4 gpm in our project so again going back to the tab, same table so here 20 is given here 30 is given so in our case it is 31 so which is something like here and moving further here you can meet the 5 feet per second velocity which is this line here so both will merge at this point so you can see it is slightly high it is slightly higher than 1.5 inch that means i have to go to the next step that is 2 inch so the individual pipeline serving to two di uh, different compartment for example this is a 2 inch line and the individual compartment going here also 2 inch line but the overall line will be 2.5 inch line here one very important thing you have to know that is the pipe size which is given here is called as the internal dia it's not the outer dia and the important thing is each pipe like HTP pipe, UPVC, copper pipe, PPR, or CPVC each pipe outer dia, inner dia is different so here they have given clearly the inner dia now in our project we use the UPVC so we will see how the exercise will come so in our project the main pipe which is supplying uh, the two compartment is uh, 2.5 inch that is the inner dia. Now in our project we have the UPVC pipeline, UPVC high pressure pipeline I am using. So this is the table I have given. For example I am using 35 BS 3505 class E. Class E means 16 bar pressure pipeline I am using for this water filling line UPVC material. So here you can see outer dia I have given and wall thickness I have given. So in our case we need the uh, inner dia I mean the ID the inner dia that should be 2.5 inches that should be 2.5 inches so you, you can see here 2.5 inch uh, uh, 2.5 means which is equal to uh, like you can so you can convert to the uh, mm so 2.5 inch if you multiply with 25.4 it is 63.5 mm i need for this project that is the inner dia 63.5 mm so here you can see after you have 60 mm after that you have 75 mm then you have 88.7 mm so i need 63 mm as a inner dia so here if you go to the next size of 63 that is 75 mm and here you can see the wall thickness they have given so the let's say the maximum wall thickness that is 5.6 mm so if you go to the calculator you can see uh, for example the outer dia here is 75 mm minus uh, wall thickness 5.6 minus 5.6 so total 63.8 mm will come 
So in our case now we need the exit pipe size of 2.5 inch is equal to 65 mm and we got the answer of 63.8 mm so it's almost very near to the required value so this value we can assert because otherwise if you go to the next highest size for example instead of 75 if you go to 88.7 the value will be very much different will come for example I'll try with that one also 88.7 minus you can minus the wall thickness of the pipeline so here it is consider the maximum uh, thickness that is 6.6 uh, .6. for example here 6.6 .6 minus 6.6 .6, .6, it will be 75.5 mm will come so what the value we need is like 65 mm so i am getting 10 mm higher which is a uh, little bit higher than my requirement so so instead of this case we can go to 75 mm pipeline that means a 2.5 inch pipeline so after reducing the thickness of the pipeline it will be around 63 mm so that is acceptable now coming to the individual pipeline for this uh, water filling line that is 50 mm or 2 inch pipeline I need for the individual one. So here you can see I need 50 mm so we have 48.2 mm the next one is 60.2 mm. So 48.2 I cannot use because I need 50 mm. So the next one is uh, 60.2 mm let us see we will minus the thickness also 60.2 minus the thickness in this case is 4.5 mm. So 4.5 minus 4.5. So I am getting 51.2 mm, uh, so the answer I need is 50 mm, so surely this is more than my requirement, so I can use 60.2 mm for the individual pipe size. So here uh, in this project I followed 8 hours uh, tank filling time that is as per NFEA but some uh, code like uh, if you go to Qatar Civil Defense uh, in the Middle East Qatar Civil Defense so they are telling to they are telling to follow 6 hours of tank filling line so in the 6 hours mean instead of this 8 hours you have to make to 6 so remaining calculation the concept is very same. So coming to this tank filling line, we have few requirements from NFA to NFA 22. We will see that first this a, a permanent pipe connected to a water supply shall be provided to fill the tank. This is what we saw in our case. There is a permanent pipeline coming from the water supply line to fill the tank. We have that one. If you don't have the permanent uh, uh, water supply line, as I mentioned here, where is a permanent water supply is not available to refill the tank, an approved plan shall be permitted for manually refilling the tank so sometime water tanker will come it will fill the tank so that is the manual filling so if you are, don't have the permanent filling you have to provide the manual filling and that plan must be approved and the third point we already discussed we, uh, we have to provide eight hours filling time the fourth point is the tank shall be kept filled and the water level never be more than four inch below the designated fire level for example this is your water tank and uh, for example this is your water level requirement so from here maximum 4 inch this limit is allowed so the water level should not be lower than 4 inch so that is not acceptable so maximum within 4 inch the required water level should be there all the cases and finally the last requirement is the filling bypass shall be kept closed when not in use so if there is no usage of this line the bypass the filling bypass line shall be kept closed when whenever this is not used so I believe this water tank filling line concept is very clear for you. So thank you for watching the video. We will see you again with another interesting topic. Till then, bye-bye.